RNA transcripts are subjected to a lot of RNA modifications and processing in eukaryotic cells. RNA binding proteins are a key class of regulators of RNA processing. Here is a cartoon from Eric Kaufman in my lab depicting RNA being followed and chaperoned by RNA binding proteins throughout its RNA life cycle. Here's a more complicated diagram showing that RNA processing at every single RNA life cycle step requires a complex interplay of RNA binding protein RNA interactions. However, the functions of the majority of RNA binding proteins are unknown. The RNA targets of these are also largely unexplored. RBPs can bind RNA in a sequence specific manner or to RNA structure or both. And so there have been a emergence of many different technologies to try to identify RBP RNA interactions using different ways. And so recently, we've been very interested in using antibody-free methods that use RNA-based editing enzymes to detect full-length RBP RNA interactions, the most popular of which are TRIBE and STAMP. Thank you, Gene, for that great introduction. While powerful and while allowing us to overcome the limitations of using antibodies, TRIBE and STAMP still have limitations specifically limitations due to the inherent bias of the RNA-based editors that are used. To expand the number of available editors that we can use for TRIBE and STAMP, we developed PRINTER, or protein RNA interaction-based triaging of enzymes that edit RNA, to profile additional RNA-based editors. And PRINTER is a novel two-component system designed to evaluate RNA-based editors, or RBEs. The first component in the system is a reporter mRNA that includes the GFP coding sequence alongside a synthetic 3' prime untranslated region, or UTR. This 3' prime UTR is enriched with 12 MS2 hairpins. The hairpins are high affinity binding sites for the MS2 coprotein, or MCP, which is an RNA binding domain. The second component is a chimeric protein, combining an MCP domain with an RBE domain. This design allows the RBE domain to catalyze the deamination of RNA bases within proximity of the MS2 hairpins on the reporter mRNA. Our experimental approach involves transfecting HEP 293 XT cells with plasmids encoding both system components, followed by RNA extraction and high throughput sequencing to quantify and locate the edits. This precise methodology allows us to profile the efficiency and specificity of individual RNA based editing enzymes. To select RBEs for testing, we begin with a comprehensive literature review of known RNA editing enzymes and prime DNA editors. Prime editors leverage a modified CRISPR system to edit specific DNA loci. These DNA editors occasionally exhibit an RNA editing activity, a characteristic considered undesirable in the intended context, but of interest for our study. In collaboration with Dr. Alexis Tamora from UCSD and a TDCC Opportunity Award funded collaboration with Dr. Rahul Kohli from UPenn, we also included engineered variants of prime DNA editing enzymes, broadening our exploration of RNA editing capabilities. We focused on enzymes capable of C to U and A to I edits, spanning a spectrum of catalytic activities and precision levels. We performed printer experiments with the 30 plus RBEs identified in our literature review. The reporter RNA sequence is represented from the five prime to the three prime ends, left to right on the rectangle. Within the rectangles, broken lines mark boundaries of the synthetic three prime UTR, with yellow rectangles indicating the position of the MS2 hairpins. On the y axis, the count of the number of times a base was identified in the sequencing reads is noted. The black line indicates the number of base calls that match the reporter sequence, indicating that there was no RNA editing. Here, we represent printer results for each enzyme with an individual rectangle. The green bars indicate positions where there was a cytosine in the reporter, but a uridine was detected, indicating a CDU edit. The orange bars indicate positions where there was an adenosine in the reporter, but an inosine was detected, indicating an ADI edit. Thus, we can observe a wide range of editing activity and specificity profiles in the reporter, contrasted across the different RBEs tested. To assess the precision of the RBEs, we performed total poly-A RNA sequencing and differentiated between on-target and off-target edits for a selection of top-performing RBEs from the initial screen. Given that MS2 hairpins and GFP are foreign to human cells, on-target editing is quantified by edits on the reporter, contrasted against edits within the human transcriptome, which are considered off-target. This comparison yields a ratio indicative to each RBE's precision, factoring in its unique catalytic profile. As with the reporter profiles, we observe a wide range of on-to-off-target editing ratios. RBEs displaying favorable reporter editing and off-target profiles are then fused to RNA binding proteins that associate with specific sequences on target RNAs. For example, here we fuse candidate RBEs to the RBFOX2 RBP, which binds to the GCAUG sequence motif on hundreds of target RNAs. When the RBFOX2 RB chimera is expressed in live cells, the RBFOX2 domains of the chimera bind to cognate sites on the RNA, enabling the RBE domain to catalyze multiple edits nearby. 
Given the longer or more frequent dwell time of RBFOX on its target sites, edits are typically concentrated nearby. We define the sequences corresponding to these hyper-edited sites together with 300 base flanking sequences as edit clusters. And we use an algorithm called Flare to identify them from the sequencing data. Flare identifies hundreds to thousands of edit clusters across each of the RBFOX2 RBEs tested. Analysis of the edit cluster sequences using de novo motif discovery so software such as Homer yields the sequence motifs reflecting the preferred RBFOX2 binding motif, GCAUG. Inherent biases in the editing of RBEs are also determined. This is done by evaluating the, bas the basis flanking each of the edited sites. We refer to these flanking bases as the substrate base context. To determine the context preferred by each RBE, we quantify the number of edits associated with each possible combination of neighboring bases. Once tallied, these combinations are ranked by the total number of edits, revealing a ranking of the preferred context, from most to least preferred for each RBE. Here we can appreciate apoback ones known proclivity for editing, ba editing bases flanked by adenosine and uridine, whether fused to RBFOX2 or not. We also note that all RBEs tested here exhibited distinct substrate context preferences. The distinct C to U and A to I edits can further be leveraged to profile the binding of two distinct RBPs with the same RNAs simultaneously. This is significant because traditional RBP interaction profiling methods examine one RBP at a time and often eliminate non-protein bound parts of the RNAs with RNases. Our dual editing reporter system, by contrast, allows for the concurrent profiling of multiple RBP-RBE interactions without RNAs treatment. By deploying chimeras of MCP fused to ApoBec1 and PP7CP fused to TAD-A variants, together with a reporter mRNA bearing MS2 and PP7 coprotein binding sites, we can unveil the interplay of binding between the two RBPs by examining the distribution of CTU and A to I edits in the reporter. This approach not only identifies RBP binding sites, but also retains information of splice variants and multiprotein interactions within RNA. Our experiments show that we can, in fact, detect binding by two distinct RBPs, as evidenced by the presence of CTU and A to I edits distributed across the MS2 and PP7 binding sites. However, the activity of the paired RBEs influenced the editing outcomes. When the dual editing experiments were done with ApoBec1 and 710V82G, which have closely matched activities, both edits were detected, and co-editing was closely located to the binding sites, even when we used one-third as many binding sites. However, when pairing ApoBec1 with AE, which is significantly more active than ApoBec1, it resulted in a dominant A to I editing profile deposited by AE and undetectable C to U edits. This outcome is likely due to the A to I edits by AE altering the cytosine context, thereby disfavoring editing by ApoBec1. Thus, our printer system enables the profiling of both novel and known RBEs, the measurement of their on to off target ratios, their performance as fusions to RBPs, and the identification of co-binding by two distinct RBPs with the same RNAs. We also utilize the RBEs to profile translation by fusing them to the ribosome protein PS2, which you can read about more in the paper. The software components of Printer are accessible via SnakeMake documentation and our GitHub repository. These resources include an updated version of Sailor for identifying CDU and ADI edits, and Flare for pinpointing edit clusters. To summarize, our Printer framework offers a rapid means to characterize enzymes before their application in RBP-mediated editing. It also enables us to identify DNA editors with reduced off-target RNA editing, addressing another critical aspect of the field's current limitations. A key aside, Hugo's work emphasizes the importance of acknowledging and also addressing enzyme biases when, when designing these experiments and interpreting their outcomes. And in at least our opinion, relying solely on one enzyme may lead to false negatives and an incomplete understanding of protein-RNA interactions in cells. Thank you.